Camelot, how is the race car business treating you? It's stressful. It's very stressful. stressful. Well, we, it's much better right now than it was like four months ago because it's just money starts getting real wild and you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. So, um, but luckily, wild good or wild bad? Wild bad. What do you mean? Wild? Yeah, wild I bad. Know. I don't know wild. what I'm going to do with all this money. <laughs> no, that would be that would be great. No, it's um, you know, it's just it's just so expensive. And um, we wrecked a car in Iowa, and it put us a little bit behind. We had a great when year. Say, when you say we wrecked a car in Iowa, who you was driving? like a royal we? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's you're working. the only one driving. The team, you know. Yeah. Uh, but no, Tim. Tim Pool jumped on a board and again for the whole year, and he upped his money substantially. And wow. Really so because I was great. like, I was on Tim Cast, and right after it was over, I was like, hey, hiring everyone. So he's, you know, he's got some yeah. there. Yeah, he. And we talked about it, and I was like, "Look, dude, like I was six races to go, I was had zero dollars, and I was pretty much, I sold my R8, I sold my other car, I sold like four of my prize guitars, I sold a lot, of, and now I started looking into a HELOC loan, and I was like, "Fuck, oh, this is getting bad." Um, and he was like, "Yeah, dude, we'll 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 cook it up a little bit more," and I was like, "Rock on!" And, wow. And Whoa. then all the other sponsors came back as well, so it's gonna be a real good year. I'm excited. That's Have you awesome. met Bubba Wallace? I have well, I've walked by him a ton of times in the garage. I've never talked to him though. I fucking hate him. Uh, <laughs> you know what? A great prank would be to tie a garage pole. Yeah, yeah I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm trying not to get banned again. Yeah, is he like? Most. Is he still uh, upset about that? Um, I don't you, know. You, you don't have to say anything because I know that could get you in trouble with it. But I think Bubba Wallace is one of the biggest bitches around. Uh, <laughs> agreed. He, Again, he was all in on this Black Lives Matter bullshit. He's the one that got the Confederate flag taken down from NASCAR races. Um, he, he like and NASCAR completely. And this was what everybody was doing in 2020, Summer of Love. They they bent the knee, they bowed down. They had all the racers walking behind him as he walked with a mask and a BLM shirt. Uh, this bitch made shit. But it, it took it to the next level when he tried to pretend like that somebody left a noose in his garage right oh my god it's right after jesse smollett and all this bullshit he tried to pretend like somebody left a noose in his garage the reality was somebody fucking tied a loop and tied a knot in a a, a rope to pull down the pull the garage up and down it was a garage it was a, it was a regular old garage pull like you'd yeah. see yep. in any garage yeah. like and if it, you've ever been into a garage you would see something like that probably. and it had been there for months and months and months, it wasn't just put there because Bubba Wallace was there. I had like FBI. And he, God, he got embarrassed. They had what FBI fucking doing fucking uh, checking it out, like doing yes. the research and and, and doing yes. investigating it. It's like, yeah. And then Disney partnered with them. Uh, yeah, Star wow. Disney Star Wars partnered. Uh, with well. Blame all their failures on racism. So does he. Sure. Yeah, it was a very it was a very weird uh a weird situation. And uh, Tim asked me on Tim Cast the other day. He was like this like. There's all this, you know, overt, like, woke stuff creep in, like, to, you know, the people there. And it really doesn't. Like, mm. all of the other stuff is, like, very TV-based. Everybody there is still, you know, they're laid back, good old boys. Everybody's a redneck as hell. Um, it's a, you know, it's very solid. And everybody's real, real welcoming and really, really cool. And now, granted, I've never really been around. I've been in the Cup Series garage a ton. But you, I'm usually on the other side of the track in the, you know, Arc and Xfinity garage. So, um, but as far as I know, as far as I've experienced, everybody's been cool as hell. So luckily, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, the, so and why that's all, like, that, that's why the, all the race car drivers uh, rednecks? You don't get any preppy like Connecticut like there's a few of them. around their shoulders. There's a few of them. Yeah, race car drivers. Them. Yeah, but we always we always look down on them. Frankie Muniz is one of your one of. Uh, He's so nice. He's such a cool dude. Frankie man. Muniz. It's, yeah. it's kind of like it's about culture and like how you grew up and shit a lot too. Right. So if you grow up around it, you're much more likely to get involved in it. You don't see too many people from the middle of the, the desert that take up curling. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because it's just not <laughs> part of their culture. So yeah, that's true. That's cool. But other than that, yeah, it's been great. It's been really cool. It's been a really, it's been an awesome life experience. I didn't think I'd be doing even remotely. I thought I was going to do one race with the frog car and that was it. And, um, Tim came on board and then other people and, yeah, it's been really cool, and I'm excited to do it again. And we're doing NASCAR Xfinity and trucks. Is it like hard? This. Do you just keep your foot on the gas pedal? Like what? Uh, it's <laughs> it's like it's like tripping on acid. You cannot stop explain. and ask for directions. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take a, so a left fast. up here or what is it? Yeah. It's you're just you just keep going left. I don't. There's yeah. no okay. It's like 110 percent all the time. And the, uh, 
the car is like handle real straight. You have to drive a, the car faster than you think it's supposed to be driven or Jeez. able capable of being driven. And you can never, you can never like relax. You have to always be going, oh. always be. And it's so hot. It's so exhausting. And I, mm. at Michigan, they had to pull me out of the car. Ambulance came and got me and I had to go to cool. the hospital. And I was on oxygen for two hours. What? Yeah, it's really gone. dangerous, right? I, I mean, it, it is. Yeah. yeah. Get a hydrate. It's just driving and Especially like. Especially in those like swing that. states. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double the rallies. They suck all the oxygen out. It was rough, man. It was rough. But it's it's a it's a real fun experience. And oh. uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see Cecil and Daytona over up. Uh, we're gonna try yeah, Daytona, it. yeah. Don't you have to pee in your seat too? If you'd have to, usually like you pee right before a race, you, you're super hydrated, so you're pissing every five minutes. You pee right before you get in the car when they're doing the national anthem. Run my just like streaming so much, just yeah. like streaming. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you, you come back and you get you get buckled in, and you can already feel the piss bubbling up. And as soon as you go green flag, you're it's like 140 in the Should car. Tell him he's muted, or just let him go. Five. Wait, am I muted? No. <laughs> no. What the hell, Chrissy? What the hell are you doing? Anyway, Chrissy. Damn, Chrissy. No, Anyways, I yeah, the piss. No one's muted. It just sucks back up in you. You sweat it out. Chrissy can't hear anybody. That's funny. <laughs> it's still we'll over. Going. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 I can't <laughs> hear anyone. You can't hear us? Oh, oh shit. Let's go. Feels like so isolating. We're taking overseas. Now we say now I have to read lips. I don't I don't, I, can't, I literally can't think of one mean thing to say. <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna go joke. jump out of a window. Oh, this is risky. This <laughs> is very risky. Back. Happy birthday. Hi, Chrissy. Happy birthday. Hi, Chrissy. Leaving and Happy coming Chrissy. back. There you go. Still leaving, come back.